Hello and welcome to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes Grand Arena Championships Season 8, Week 1, Round 3. My name is Boma Fett. I am 2-0 going into this final round, meaning that I am playing for the championship of this bracket. Now I've had a few people tell me that I should cut down the beginning of my videos and get straight into the battles. However, while I appreciate that feedback, I'm not going to do that, and here's why. I think this analysis is important to understand the strategic decisions that I'm making. Especially because I'm in Division 3, I'm not in Division 1, I do not have a complete roster, my opponents do not have complete rosters. So understanding the status of our rosters, what we have, what we don't have, who's geared up, who's not, that's important when it comes to the decisions that are being made. And so I like to go through all of that before I get to the battles. Now, if you want to skip ahead and get straight to the battles, you are more than welcome to do that. Please, just fast forward. It's not difficult to drag that marker forward and right to the battles. You are more than welcome to do that. You control your YouTube viewing experience. You can fast forward, you can rewind, you can rewatch, you can watch at half speed, you can watch at 1.5 speed, two times speed. That's all up to you. But I think this context is important so we're going to check out who my opponent is. Wild Salmon. Something's a little fishy here. Okay, let's take a look at the Hotbot for a quick comparison. Here's the Hotbot comparison for Wild Salmon and myself. Everything in green on the left are areas where I have an advantage or higher stats, and the stuff on the red is where Wild Salmon has an advantage or higher stats. And so if we look here, we're going to zoom in a bit. Here on the GAC stats, you can see that Wild Salmon actually has more lifetime banners than I do, has more undersized wins, more defensive wins, is very close on offensive wins and clears. So this is a very strong player. Looking at our roster summary, Wild Salmon has a higher overall GP, but my top 65 and top 80 are slightly higher, probably not significantly. I do have a few more Zetas, 66 versus 52. Speed added to our top characters is not that much different. I have a tiny advantage. We have the same number of relic characters, 10 each. Here's a big difference. Gear 12s, I have 10. Gear 12s, Wild Salmon has 29. So almost three times the number of Gear 12s. However, overall, Gear 11 and above Wild Salmon is at 57, and I am at 64. So Wild Salmon has a much more top-heavy roster. Here in the mod analysis, you can see that I have a slight advantage in terms of number of mods with higher speed secondaries. However, one thing to note about my speed secondaries is that my highest speed secondaries are not on speed sets. And so if it's on a speed set, you get an extra 10% bonus for a speed set that I don't get. I've tried and tried and tried to farm those speed sets, and I just can't get any of the top, top secondary speeds on any of my speed sets. So I'll show you in just a minute why that's important, why it makes a difference. Now quickly before we do that, you can see here my relics. I've got 43 relic levels, and Wild Salmon has 39. So I have more total relic levels. However, you can see here that Wild Salmon has the only tier seven relic character. So let me show you some of these meta characters and you'll see how not having your top speed secondaries on speed sets can hurt you. You can see here, I've added a lot of speed, but Wild Salmon has higher overall speeds on these top tier characters because a lot of his speeds are on speed secondaries and it gives you that extra boost. So you can see on almost all of these characters, Wild Salmon is faster. All right, let's go back to the game and we will check out Wild Salmon's roster. So you can see here that Wild Salmon uses a Darth Revan squad with GBA and Grievous in it. So a little bit of an unusual comp there. And over here, we've got Negotiator, but it's only five stars. My Negotiator is six stars. However, I think he may have higher relics than I do on some of these characters. So that could be a tricky matchup 
if he puts Negotiator on defense. Let's take a look at some factions. All right, here are the Relic characters. Bounty Hunters. Clone Troopers are very strong. Droids, we already saw that there are these three relics, but they're not the only ones that are geared up. Empire. Ewoks. First Order. Galactic Republic. You've got Gear 12 Geonosians. Night Sisters. Old Republic. Phoenix. Rebels. Resistance. Separatists. Sith. We do not have Darth Malak. That's the big one to note here. Smugglers. Emphis Nest is only gear one. And no Wampa. I've looked at Wild Salmon's GAC history, and what I found was that he tends to save a lot for offense, similar to me. He saves both Revens, he saves Padme, CLS, uh, and he relies on a couple of squads on defense. One is his Relic 7 General Grievous, and the other is Shock Clones. So I'm expecting to see those two on defense. So let's see if I'm right. Yep, there they are. There's the Grievous, and there's the Shock Clones. Now before we look at the rest of his defense, let's take a look at what I sent. So while I'd like to put Revan on defense in this slot, just like last round, I held Revan back for offense, and I've put Geonosians here. It's not a great Geo squad. That's okay. I've got Malik, and I've got this Bosk squad. Down here in the bottom area, I did make one significant change, and that is here on my timeout team, I normally have Joe Lee in this third position, and instead I've put Shock T here. Now the reasoning is, I knew that I'd probably see that Relic 7 General Grievous on defense, and so I wanted Joe Lee to go with my Jedi Knight Revan and Grandmaster Yoda when I go against that GG squad. So I put Shock T in here instead. That makes this a much weaker squad, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I wanna make sure that I get the clear. The other two squads are the same as the last couple of rounds. In this back zone, I've done kind of a combination of what I did in the first two rounds. I've got my Karth squad, I've got Night Sisters, and I've got Phoenix, and then I've got the Boba Fett squad that I made a small change to, and that is putting Stormtrooper Han in here as a tank. I've kept my home one on defense, and I've got my negotiator for offense. Now let's take a look at the rest of his squads. So there's that Relic 7 General Grievous squad, and he was smart and put Magna Guard in that squad so that these two will be stealthed at the beginning of battle. We've got a Night Sister squad with Acolyte, and usually you'll see Zombie in this third position because that way Acolyte goes stealth and Zombie is there, and you have to just keep killing Zombie over and over and over again unless you've got an AoE that can take out Acolyte. So not having Zombie here will make this an easier match. And we've got this Newt squad with the other two droids. Relic 3 Droidica is pretty scary. Down here on the bottom, we've got the Shock Troopers, and we do have a Relic 5s with both Zetas, and Rex also has his Zeta. We've got a Geo squad. The interesting thing here is that we've got Sunfac and we've got Poggle. 
and neither one of them is really an offensive threat. So GBA and the Brute, eh, they, they're a little bit more offensive, but without Spy in here, there's really nobody who can get that big hit. Up here we've got this boss squad. He does have the double Zeta, so that's a little bit of a concern, but he's only gear 12, so I should be able to burn through him relatively quickly. There's no Dengar to go stealth, so I can use stealth on my own squad, but I do hate Zam Wessel. Those thermals are really annoying. So not an easy defense by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but I think I held enough for offense that I should be able to get through this. I just really hope he hasn't changed his patterns and we don't see something really big back here. Uh, if we do, I could be in trouble. Okay, I am going to formulate my attack plan and I will be back in a little bit. All right, so I've formulated my plan and it all hinges on beating this Grievous squad. So, here we go. Do a couple of AoEs. We'll start working on Magna. Okay, here comes Grievous. Perfect. Uh, we'll do spread buffs. Should have done that before Grievous' attack. And now we'll mark him. Really need him to stop picking on Jolie. Do this. Paul Yoda. Again, we'll do AOE, now knockdown turn meter, excellent, almost got him, call Yoda, AOE, spread buffs, call Yoda, there he goes, AOE, Take out Magna. Basics all the way home. It's called Jolie. And finish them off. 51 banners. Beautiful. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to switch to the bottom zone, and we're going to try our JTR here. Django. Well, let's give this to BB-8. Okay, let's wave down. Well, do we need to wave down Bosk? Yeah, we'll wave down Django. Let's wave down Zam. We're about to kill Django. Stun, excellent. Maybe we should kill Zam while Django is. And burn. Mm. Let's 
kill him. Let's see if we can get a stun here. Excellent. Stun. Wave that down. He's got the Zeta, so he's going to keep the taunt. It's a little annoying. Wave that AoE. Take care of her. Yes. Wave. Stun. Kill. 52. I was hoping he might last a little longer and I could recover some banners, but no such luck. Okay. Uh, this Geonosian squad. I'm going to take in my Triumvirate, but I don't think I need Nihilus. And I'm going to take in Emphis Nest instead. Because Spy is not there for the big hit, I think this is a safe move. I may still end up losing my tray. We'll see. A counterattack. Come on. Um, oh, he's not taunting. That's really weird. We're going to isolate him anyhow. Uh, Scion. And we're going to attack Paul. I've said this before in other videos. Because they have a shared health pool, you want to attack the one that has the lowest defense, and that's Poggle, in this case. So every time you attack, they're equalizing their health. But if you attack the one with the lowest defense, you're going to do the most damage. All right, Sunfak is taunting, so I have to attack Sunfak now. Except for Nest. Nest can ignore the taunt, so back to Poggle. Keep the isolate. Well, I guess I've got to isolate here. And back to Poggle. Counterattack. So I see what they've done here by using both Sunfac. and the Brute, that's pretty effective, but they don't have as much offense as they could. Uh, this might take them all out. Let's do it. Boom. 48. Not great for banners, but a one-shot is good. All right, I'm a bit concerned about this Shock T squad. We're going to try... Our Padme. This would be better if I had GK, but GK is on defense. Fingers are crossed. I'm going to start off with a large attack. We'll do this. Do this. I want to take out shock first to get rid of the counter attacking. One more hit ought to do it for him. Alright, he's taunting. Let's do kick to the face. Kill her. He's almost ready to execute. 
Oh, that was terrible. Could have been worse though, I guess. I wonder if it would be better to kill Rex and then I can clean up on fives. Oh, I hope I can kill fives. Maybe not. Darn it. It's not going to work. All right. I was worried about that for good reason. All right. We're going to go with Bastila, Ezra, and Kanan. Do it. Thirty-four. I wonder if I should have done that from the beginning. Oh well. Let's see what's in the back. Moment of truth. Okay, we've got a Karth squad. We've got leftover bounty hunters. We've got night sisters. We've got old Ben and the other two clones. Interesting. Okay, I am going to go do a little strategizing, and I will be back. All right. I'm still unsure what I'm going to do in that back zone, but let's take care of this front zone. Right here. We are going to take this Palpatine squad. And let's start off with shock there. We'll do fear. Stun. Let's get rid of spirit. Three banners. All right, this squad is a little bit scary. I'm going to go CLS, Han, and Chewie. And I want to try and get through that Droidica before it can get the damage immunity. So we'll see. Hits there. Let's see if we can stun this guy. There we go. And this should do it. Try to close gone. That was the biggest threat. Stun there. This guy. And they should do it. Oh, of course he comes back. I forgot. All right. Lost a couple of banners there at the end. That's a little frustrating. 53 again. I'm okay with 53. 3v3, it's really hard to stretch the matches to get that full banner. So losing one banner is fine. Ooh. Negotiator on defense. This is trouble. This is trouble. All right. Um, we'll come back to this. What do we want to do here? 
This, I was not sure what to do. I think here, because these guys rely a lot on damage over time, we're gonna go with our Kylos. I think I can probably just do the two of them and it will be fine. Um, yeah, let's do this. Let's stun that guy. And we'll go after him. We'll do this to keep the taunt. up those dots please okay now this should kill Karth oh he dodged unbelievable all right we'll do a big hit we'll do this again oh, we might as well take out Zalbar he's low right more turn meter him, we'll kill him, turn meter, keep the taunt, and we should do it. 54 banners. Okay. This squad here, let's go Darth Raven and Thrawn and HK. Hmm, we'll do this. We'll fracture zombie. And then. We want to get somebody below 50% health. Wow, I killed Daka. I want to get something, somebody below 50% health so that I can kill Asajj when she has the death mark. We'll swap this over here. Uh, no matter who he attacks, it's going to kill him. Okay. There we go. Can we kill her before she gets, gets a turn? No. Do this. Fracture. Oh, I keep getting so close. There we go. All right, that wasn't as, as smooth as I wanted, but it worked. There was never any danger there. All right, bounty hunters. What do we want to do here? What if we take Rex, Fives, and Wumpa. Sure, why not? What do I want to do against the clones, though? Hmm. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay. 
Tenacity. And we'll just go straight after Boba Fett. there. There goes Boba. Well, that's not nice, Greedo. Just for that, you get this. Jerk. One more hit should do it. Alright, well, that was kind of a close call. 52 banners. Old Ben and the Clones. What do we want to do here? Talzin, Nihilus, and Spirit? Sure, why not? I have no idea if this will work. Uh, let's stun this guy here. Let's do the Plague. Rain. Let's do this to old Ben. Oh. Welcome to the Dodge Meta. Dodge that, old man. being plagued to death. 51. Not the best banners, but whatever. It worked. All right. So it all comes down to ships. I will be taking my own negotiator, Houndstooth, Anakin, Crew, Snips, fives, and hmm. I made a mistake and I put uh, I put Rex on defense. I guess we'll go Vader. Okay. Oh, that's unusual that my crew doesn't go first. Let's try and keep this guy from taunting. Let's see if we can get a breach. Excellent. Who do we want to stun? Let's stun Anakin. Kill this guy. This guy while we can. Oh, we don't like that. That's not nice, Anakin. Uh, we'll bring in, let's bring in fives. Let's do the big hit. Oh, big hit didn't do uh, very much. Big hit didn't hit big. is going on here. Um, we'll do this. Oh no! Dumb, 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 dumb. 
Dum dum dum. I am a dum dum. Did I mention that I'm a dum dum? No, no, no. Dang it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. Yes! Okay, I'm still going to lose, but I think I can maybe clean this up. Oof. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. There we go. This was bad. Hate ships. Hate, hate, hate ships. Do I bring in the reinforcement? Do I do the... I need the reinforcement, right? Ah, oh, so frustrating. This was a problem. <sighs> All right. Not good, not good. Now you taunt, thanks. I have nothing left. I have garbage. Gar -bodge. is a
All right. So that's where I'm going to finish. 2060. Really frustrated. All right, we'll come back later and we'll see what Wild Salmon does. Okay, so I woke up this morning and I find this. Grievous is down for 53 banners, but nothing else has happened yet. A couple of hours later, this. Now my Malik has gone down, again for another 53 banners. But again, I'm left waiting for hours and hours until there's about an hour left before time is up, and then this. So my Newt squad has gone down, but it took two attempts. So I'm feeling a little bit hopeful. Then my Kenobi squad goes down in one shot. And then Bosk. Again, one shot. And then time starts ticking by. He takes about 15 minutes before he takes his next attempt. And now both front zones are cleared. So now I'm waiting again. Is he going to take ships? Is he going to go after my characters? And does he have enough left to clear my back zone? Well, he goes after my ships next, and he loses. I am stoked. But he goes right back in, and he defeats them on the second try. So now I'm waiting for him to attack my back character zone. So he goes right in and defeats my Night Sisters. But then he stops again, and I'm waiting, and time is ticking down. Finally, he makes an attempt, and he loses to my Karth squad. So then he goes right back in, and he loses again. Time is ticking down. We're under 10 minutes remaining at this point. So then he goes after my Phoenix squad and loses. So he goes back in again, and this time he wins. Next, he tries my Bounty Hunters and loses. We're down to only a couple of minutes left, and I think I might have this one. Remember, he did not have as many Gear 11 and above as I did, and so he's probably down to the dregs of his roster. On his next attack, he's gotten some of the protection down on my Boba Fett squad. He switches and goes back after Mission and Zalbar. Loses again. But then, on his fourth attempt, he finally beats them. So back to Boba Fett. And another loss. And then, two more. But he's gotten rid of Greedo and Stormtrooper Han, and Boba Fett is down to health. I figure he's got to be almost out of time at this point. And so I check. One minute and counting. 55, 54. He's fighting him again. Can Boba Fett hold out for just one more minute? My heart was racing. I was pacing back and forth. Tick, 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 tick. Come on, Boba Fett. Just hold out. Just hold on, Boba Fett. And he didn't. With about 20 seconds left, my opponent was able to take out my last squad. It was a real roller coaster of emotion for me. I started the day thinking I was going to lose for sure, but as things progressed, I got more and more hopeful that I had a chance, and I really thought I was going to win until the very last second when my opponent beat me. So I'd like to say thank you to Wild Salmon for an amazing match, and thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.